Welcome, it's Tarot Me and More. It's uh, Tarot on the Beach edition, special edition, I'll call it. Every edition special if we get to be on the beach. Asta. Hola, amigos. David. Uh, this is for the 8th of April, guys. This is your singles, Aries, okay? Um, one of, this is the Meet Your Soulmate read, okay? We got the four pillars, so we have uh, laid out here because of some issues with the wind and stuff. Uh, we laid out your spread ahead. And I'll show it to you as we go along, but this is your uh, person's emotional, this is your person's uh, intellectual, your person's sexual and romantic nature, and this is their lifestyle core values here. Uh, that's the four pillars. Um, so uh, what we're going to try to do is meet them. This is for, I call it, um, super singles. Um, this means that you're really, because this will tend to pick up on somebody that's on your heart, which for which case use the heart spread. I don't know what it's way I work or the way tarot but I, I tested this a lot you know before mm -hmm. we started using it and uh, I noticed Same. with people that were crushing on someone or something would go right to them so this is our super singles we're clearing the, the deck here we're allowing your soulmate to come in maybe they haven't been able to get in because the deck wasn't clear now it's clear because this here is the one that the spirit wants for you to be with your real soulmate this is not a problem this is not your next ex-husband wife girlfriend boyfriend so when we look at them uh, emotionally, we're looking at the seven of wands and the three. Um, this is someone that's got to have a passionate nature. And also, I like to look here and see um, how the person is. If you're on a date with them or sitting across from them, man or woman, we're getting to know them. They're telling stories. You know, what, what might they say? And this got to be someone they speak uh, uh, animately. Yeah. You know, they're they're lively. They're like, hey, you know, they're strong, you know, mm -hmm. passionate speakers. Um, they speak up. Um, they, this is your person now, so this is not a problem. But I could even, like, get too exuberant. They might talk over people. They uh, might finish people's sentences and mm -hmm. stuff like this because emotionally um, they're just really revved up uh, internally. Um, um they may be a bit fidgety if you're around them even. You may notice that there's a lot of movement with them, uh, like tapping of feet even, or, or just just kind of like they're, you can almost, I think, because we're trying to get a sense for who are they, and so you can recognize them mainly here. This mm -hmm. reading is a little different. So, um, you know, don't be alarmed if it, you know, with this kind of energy, it's almost like, like they could be like when you're talking to them, they might kind of just glance away at, something else or emotionally i think like as you're talking to them you may kind of see on their face because i think a lot of people watch tarot pretty sensitive you know mm -hmm. doesn't you know it, it, like where they kind of they might just kind of like disappear for a minute like to go off on a emotional tangent i'll call it okay because mm. like something that's going on between you verbal or non-verbal it they it it emotionally are so easily excitable and it's uh, could be this kind of like sag energy um, they're gonna, you know, want to run off with it, you know, and, and it could, but they probably will come back because, but it's just, you may see it on their face, like a little moment where they sort of disappear. Mm -hmm. uh, and maybe even like a, maybe a little smile comes on their face because it's probably something good. Also, they're a very positive person, very cheerful. They may be very um, affectionate. You know, like when you meet them, like hug you. And if any of that, it's totally genuine. Okay. If any of that. Mm -hmm. Now, when you move on to their intellectual self here, we have this is kind of amazing to me. You know, you got yourself a heavy hitter. Um, and um, we're looking at the page of pentacles in the sun. So uh, intellectuals be someone, they can really focus and they have like a really powerful mind. And um, they have a very clear understanding of the world. Um, they see things like, you know, with Scorpio energies, that eighth house, it's the things in the dark, things in the basement. Well, your person here, um, Aries, um, they just take the roof off the house and the sun pours down and there is no basement. I think this person can really see uh, clearly. Wow. And um, so, and with the page of pentacles, um, I think they kind of have an open mind yet, you know. Mm -hmm. um, it's like this is a person of any age, they'll never, you know, that saying, they'll never stop learning, you mm -hmm. know. So also it's an intellectual curiosity. Um, 
uh, but this is how they own and it you know when you're like this okay it's not just you know, being smart and they're smart they're probably a mensa level or something i bet they might tell you that story mm-hmm. yeah i'm a member maybe depending on they might not be shy being the sun either right again you got these wands you got the sun this person you're going to sit across from them they ain't no wallflower they're not they good they're wallflowers like they just sit back against the wall to dance and no one asks them to dance mm-hmm. that's not this person okay you know, they, if you if no one asks this person, your person to dance here or mm-hmm. Aries, they're just going to start dancing themselves. Okay. Guarantee it. They ain't going to wait. <laughs> They'll be like, come on, I'm gone. This kind of person you have here. Um, but for all their joviality and everything and their, their good nature and sweetness even, uh, and exuberance, you know, they're really uh, got an engine in their brain. They, they, they're a powerful thinker here, this person. Um, so be interesting. There's the stories they might tell uh, about uh, um, trying to think of how they would be in the past. You know, um, they might have made some bad decisions. You know, like this is the kind of person they may tell you about a spectacular failure. Because I get the feeling this is someone there, and they could be very innovative in their thinking too. Very innovative. Very kind of a uh, Uranus uh, energy. You know, uh, Aquarius energy. And um, so you know, they may have taken some chances. You know. Mm-hmm. And or they might have succeeded uh, a lot. I'm not sure looking at their uh, lifestyle here and core values, how much they succeeded. Mm-hmm. Um, but sexually, it's interesting with the six of Pentacles and the and judgment, the judgment card. Um, oh. um, well, first of all, they take sex very seriously. So even there's going to be a vibe with you that it's a soulmate connection if this is the one. And these other things, are, you're starting to see these other things. Because, of course, sex you don't know until you know. Um, but I don't, with the Six of Pentacles, it's probably not going to be someone that would, they're going to take some time, you know, before they let you in physically here. Um, and then with judgment, this is, you have to read this one so differently. With mm-hmm. judgment and the Six of Pentacles, well... I mean, the six, look, here, the six pinnacles kind of is judgment. Look, he's got the scales, you know, mm-hmm. and the kid, the kids are there, one on each side, deciding who gets what, you know. So it's kind of the minor arcana for judgment. Um, could be, I like to go with astrology, if you can get it, you know. Uh, this screams over here, sorry, babe, uh, Virgo, Mars, and Venus, you know. Someone that has both, because I like to look at this with the Venus and Mars signs, Okay. And see if I see any kind of thing. This is like a definitely Earth, but Virgo, Venus, somewhere, Virgo, Mars kind of energy. Um, so very attentive lovers, uh, very concerned for, for you. Um, and um, they're going to want to balance, you know, in the way they make love. So like, you know, there's no way they're going to go to sleep. You didn't get an orgasm, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. just like that. Um, and... Um, with earth energy you know it, it, it's interesting because you look at how passionate they are it's like how it you often so much see these in his readings babe where mm-hmm. it shifts into the emotional energy and you can almost see it going here but it's like sexually um, like when the door closes it's like this bright part of their personality sort of like goes out and they kind of smolder smolder Mm -hmm. and they want like a dark and maybe romantic and um and also with the venus energy being about love rather than sex Mm -hmm. you know they want uh security and reciprocity Mm -hmm. uh in terms of their romantic life with you as well as their sexual Mm -hmm. life you know um so it's going to be that kind of thing and you sort of see that again with their lifestyle here and the core values um, I go back to wh- why I said they might have had a loss. Mm-hmm. If we look at these together um, in, in this position, the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, right? Um, this is definitely someone who's known loss. So we look for the stories you're going to tell. Remember, this is your person, okay? Mm-hmm. You, don't, you don't always get the one... You know, not everybody gets a millionaire, but, you know, if spirit brings you a person, believe me, I don't think you're going to care, <laughs> you know, because this is your person. They're the one for you. Okay, but this is someone I think that's known, lost. They've, um, 
they may have learned with the two of pentacles to me there's an element of it like an electrical engine where you're balancing and everything's kind of going okay and you're keeping it okay um, but they may have like a feeling you know that's un underneath of that is this five of cups like maybe in their childhood or in the past you know uh, the rug was pulled out from under them maybe their parents uh, went bankrupt maybe this kind of thing maybe their physical security somehow was not there for them and they may have a feeling like mm. they they have to always juggle mm -hmm. the material things the two of pentacles here um to make ends uh to make things work and they uh, may be a little bit haunted by a, a underlying feeling of uh you know um that the rug could be pulled out from under them you know a and little what? a little bit like they're driven uh, forward mm -hmm. and in the, on the inside they feel uh, a little insecure like at any moment like mm -hmm. they could lose their job or lose a relationship mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. um, and um, okay. they may feel like someone is kind of this Virgo energy here which is kind of a Virgo thing um, Aries um, they could be someone too that feels like they have to always be doing something for you you know to feel good this is kind of in the sex position too here mm -hmm. uh, they they you know like they need the validation mm -hmm. of pleasing you mm. and they and this may be a pattern for them okay so in your relationship when you have a soulmate relationship hopefully you relate to what i just said and you know um it's all the all of it is about spiritual work it, your this spiritual work that your person is doing your spiritual work aries um, so when you come together, you know, whatever's going on with them, it'll merge. And, you know, um, I, the way I look at it, when this soulmate happens, you'll begin over time uh, working on yourselves and balancing yourselves. Um, so um, this person may find themselves over time with you mm -hmm. and not feeling so much like the, the other shoe's going to drop, there's a saying, or that they have to constantly do something to get your approval so um, I think that kind of gives us an idea about your person um, here Aries so let me know please go on a dating site and find this man this woman and uh, like that's easy good karma share subscribe really appreciate it helps a lot hope you enjoyed the beach <laughs> it's for the eighth second week of April guys